Hi everyone, Matt and Vinny here today, bringing you a Call of Duty gameplay, but don't go anywhere yet because I'll be talking about Clash of Clans. Uh, Call of Duties will only be happening maybe once or twice a week, and if you don't like them, go ahead and comment that you don't like them. If you do like them, go ahead and comment that you like them, and I'll see how this turns out. Anyways, I want to start off with talking about For Hey Ya Retirement. It's not necessarily a retirement, it's more of a kind of a regular people gameplay. He's not going to be jamming the game as much anymore. In fact, uh, when the update came out today, he, or yesterday, depends when you're watching this video, he only jammed his expo. I don't really think he jammed it. Uh, he, d he didn't even like max it out to level 4. He just built it as a level 1. His Inferno Tower, same thing. It's still building right now. So... That just means that for hey, he's not going to buy any more gems. Now, it is confirmed that Flammy will be doing an interview with him later on, and uh, I'm pretty excited for that, and you guys should watch it, because that will be most likely the last interview with for hey. Not sure yet, but uh, let's talk about some things in the comment section on his post on Facebook. So yesterday I took some screenshots and uh, of his replies to people, and uh, first of all, I want to start off about him jamming the game the entire way and quitting now. Uh, there's a lot of controversy going on that he quit because of level 11 walls, and that is absolutely not true. Forhey has enough money. He has plenty of money to buy to max out the base right now if he really wanted to. But he he just said that he's spending a little too much time playing the game, like every day for the for the past six months. He is held the number one spot on the leaderboards. He has never dropped to second place. And that's because he's pretty much been clashing every single day, nonstop, for like 24-7, you know? Um, if I was doing some kind of game for six months without like stopping pretty much or taking very small breaks, you know, I, I would have probably quit the game. Uh, or at least I would have stopped playing the game for a while. And I totally support for Heyao's decision because um, there's a lot of things you can do with $2,000 per month. In his official statement on Facebook, or I should say just the comment section, I'm going to read this to you. Uh, somebody asked how much does he spend on the game. And what he replied is, I'd say about 2 k a month, 2000 a month. I estimate that the top 200-500 players all spend around that much. Some even more, a pricey hobby for sure. That's his statement, so uh, yeah, we're looking at $2,000 a month, that's not cheap, not whatsoever. Uh, that's, uh, for the past six months, that is $12,000 on the game, and that is only for like, I don't know, that's if there's no update. You know, when there was a major update with level 10 walls, he jumped them all, and that's about $2,000 just right there, like no time, like 30 minutes, $2,000 blown on walls. Uh, the thing is, not every single... Uh, like, he has a job, right? But he didn't use all the money from his job. He had some sponsorships and stuff that paid for the gems, but uh, a lot of it was paid by him, so it wasn't necessarily all his money. But still, that is quite a lot of money. $12,000 at least, I mean, without taxes and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty big amount of money. The other thing is... Um, he is going to probably be a kind of a beta tester for many games to come. He has kind of, uh, you know, been exposed to the gaming community, and I'm not sure if any companies are reaching out to him, but uh, he will most likely be kind of a g gamer, you know? And I do support that too because, you know, Jorge has done a lot to Clash of Clans. Even though some people don't like him because he's maxing stuff out, but think about it. He spent all this money. And he supported Supercell by that. Supercell, in return, has given us all the updates, even though lately the updates have been for high-level players. But let's not forget the Town Hall 9, the level 8 walls, the stuff like that, the, you know, the Expos and the Teslas. Those, those are not really the high-level uh, type the, the buildings. They were for all of us. So let's say thanks to those 200 top players, including Jorge, for uh, paying for the game while we played for free, or almost for free. Um, so the other thing is, I was going to say, uh, let me see here for a second. Okay, so again, the level 11 walls were not the reason he quit. The reason is, it, he didn't like necessarily literally reply and say what it was, but what everybody's assuming, and uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, a thing, is that he, he just, he, he has other things to do in life. I mean, he, you got to do something else, like go on a trip, uh visit family, go out with friends, I don't know. Um, so that's just the really the only reason. And he isn't retiring completely. He's still going to occasionally play, but just not as much. 
He's not going to sell his account as far as I know because, guys, that is just that is just ridiculous that you ask him to sell his account and uh, give it to you for free. That's just really disrespectful for a person who spent, you know, 13000 bucks, and you're just telling him to give it to you or just sell it. Uh, he's a legend. He will always be remembered as the first person to reach 4,000 trophies, and I do respect him a lot. I give him a lot of respect for where he did. Because um, jamming is jamming, but attacking and getting to 4,000 trophies, uh, you really got to make those strategies. Because who made the Go Wipe strategy? That's right, for Hei Yao. Who made the 11 Dragon strategy with uh, 4 Lightning spells or whatever? Yep, that was for Hei Yao. Uh, he, he made a lot of strategies, so let's give him credit for that. Um, anyways, that's going to be it for for Hei Yao and talk about him. I want to talk about some other topics. Um, recently, somebody started a petition on change.org. For Clash of Clans. Uh, now I want to say that I'm in no way endorsed or affiliated by Clash of Clans. I'm simply a gamer, a person who plays Clash of Clans and show you, shows you strategies. I have freedom of speech and petition. So there we go. I'm going to start this off with saying that the title of this says Supercell, Stop Killing Clash of Clans for the 95%. And uh, this relates to many, many of you who are currently watching. We are the 95%, including me. We are the players who don't spend thousands of dollars on the game, yet we play. Yet we pay, but we don't get that many updates for us. The 5% paid tons of money. And that's where the current, the last two updates have really been for the high level players. I have to be very honest with you. Uh, you know, I think I spent about $10, $15, maybe $25 because I have five builder huts. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure you guys spent at least 10 bucks or something like that. You know, from 95% of all the players, and there's like more than, I don't know, half a million players. I don't know what, how many people play Clash of Clans. But I'm fairly sure that's still plenty of money for Supercell to at least make something for us. I mean, this new free spell, that's uh, Town Hall 10 again. And I do respect that they're supporting the top players and releasing stuff. But I really, really hope that for the anniversary of Clash of Clans in August of this year, they will do something for us lower level players. Because, I mean... It's like, um, you know, Barack Obama, he, he's a president of the state of the United States, and he has to support the middle class, the small class, the uh, high class, I don't know what they're exactly called, but he has a lot of decisions to do. Same thing for Supercell, and currently Supercell is kind of the support in the high class, the, the gemmers, the pe people who spend a lot of money, and I understand that, but you also got to support us, smaller players, because if you do support us, maybe, maybe we'll spend more gems. You know, I'm not saying we're going to spend thousands of gems, but if you release something for us, maybe we're going to, instead of spending $10, we're going to spend $20. And if 95% of people do that in the game, that is a huge increase, you know? Um, so, yeah, to sign that petition, all you have to do is click the link in the description or click the annotation on your screen if you're on your computer. And it will bring you to a page where you just simply fill out information. Uh, they keep your information private, although I'm not liable for any um, losses of your information. Change.org will be. But I try, I'm making it sound like it's all bad and stuff. Uh, actually, just go ahead and fill out the form on that side. It's on the right-hand side. Ask you for your name and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be your real name, but at least put your first name as your real name. Your second name. Uh, your last name can be something else, but uh, pretty much when you sign it, and they're really close to hitting 1,500 as of this time, signatures. Um, pretty much, I don't know how it's going to work or if it's going to work, but hey, it's worth a try. Just go sign it. Uh, pretty much, it's going to go to Supercell. They're going to you know, discuss it with their devs and uh, CEO, CEO, whatever, president of Supercell, manager. Uh, however they determine things in Supercell, and maybe that will work, you know, it's worth a try. Uh, if you want change, you need to support the change. So go ahead and sign it. Again, I'm no way endorsed by change.org to, you know, advertise this petition, but it's just me. I'm a clasher, and I think this is a very good, you know, reason to sign stuff. I, I don't just randomly sign petitions. Um, and yeah, I'm in no way against Supercell, though. Just, just a note there. I like Supercell. I love what Supercell does. Just a little change, because petitions are not something that are against necessarily they're just changes that the crowd wants uh, in a way of mass votes so that's what it kind of is now since i talked about two topics for heyao and um you know the 95 percent of players not getting much uh, updates lately i'm going to switch to something 
about the level 11 walls. So as many of you have noticed, maybe not, but the 11 and 11 walls are really different from the theme of current buildings. Everything else is like red, purple, dark uh, blue, you know, the dark elixir stuff, uh, dark purple, stuff like that. And the blue walls, they're really like out of the Town Hall 10 theme. Town Hall 10 theme is like lava, red stuff, and the blue walls are just like blue, electrified, um, you know, mysterious and stuff like that. So I want you to remind that back when Town Hall or Level 10 walls came out, we had, uh, two weeks later than that, we had a Town Hall 10. So the walls, they kind of hinted us that there's something with lava, something that has to do with lava. So since there's these Level 11 walls that are kind of electrifying in blue, I'm thinking that the next Town Hall will be about uh, ice or something like that. So that's pretty much my opinions, guys. Thank you for watching this Call of Duty gameplay as, as well as listening to me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what I did today, go ahead and leave the comment that you do like Call of Duties and just me rambling on about uh, different topics and aspects of life. And make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And remember, I will, I will only do this once a week at max. If you guys really dislike it, I'll just stop doing it. And uh, Clash of Clans will continue on forever as much as the game goes on. All right, guys. Thanks. Peace out. And Clash on.